Hi there, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about remote events in Roblox. Here you can see I have a text label. To display a text inside that text label is very simple. My text label is located inside a screen GUI, which is located inside a starter GUI. To display a text inside that text label, I'm going to go to my screen GUI. I'm going to add a local script. And in my local script, I'm going to declare a variable. Let's call it part to reference to my screen GUI. So my part is script.parent. From my screen GUI, I want to get to the text label. So it's going to be part.textlabel.text, which is the property of the text label. We'll set it to whatever you want to display inside the text label. Let's just say, hello. Press play and take a look. There it is, you see hello is displayed inside the text label. So that's very simple. When, when your text label is on the client side, so basically in Roblox, there are two sides. There is a client side and there is a server side. The client side would consist of things like the starter GUI, the screen GUI, the local scripts, the text labels. So everything is local to individual clients. And the server side consists of things that are like the, the uh, workspace, the scripts, and the service script service. So the server side is your whole game is global. Now, if you have something that is on the local side, like, like I do right here with the text label, if I want to change the text label using a local script, it's very easy. All we need to do is do this. But what if you have a script inside the service script service that wants to change this text label on the local side, on the client side, how would you do it? In Roblox, you use remote events to do it. To use remote events, first you're gonna need to create a remote event. I'm gonna go to my replicate storage and I'm gonna add a remote event. So now I have a remote event inside my replicated storage. I can rename this remote event if I like. Let's rename it to test. So inside my script, inside the service script service, let's first, uh, we're gonna do a wait for 10 seconds for everything to load and now we're gonna to need to fire that remote event. To fire the remote event, first we're gonna declare a variable, local. Let's call it test. And we'll set it equals to game dot replicate storage dot test. So this gonna to reference to my remote event right here. Test. I'm going to do a colon, fire all clients. So I'm firing this remote event to all clients in the game, to all players in the game. After that, we're going to go to the local script. We're going to try and catch that remote event that is being fired from the server side. So now I'm back on the client side. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to declare that remote event. So I'm going to say game dot replicate storage dot test. To listen for that remote event, you're going to use dot on client event. Once you get the signal that the remote event is being fired from the server side, you're going to connect to a function. And inside your function, you can do whatever you like. In this case, we're just gonna change the text label inside our function. All right, so the local script now is not gonna just change this text label on its own. It's gonna listen for the signal 
that is being fired from the server side, when it gets that signal, it's gonna change the text label to say hello. Let's play and take a look. So remember, we need to give it about 10 seconds. And there it is, hello. Let's now go back to the script on the server side. Now, when you fire the remote event, you can also pass parameters to the local site. So for example, if I pass in Mary, and now we're gonna go back to the local script. Our function here now is gonna have a parameter coming in. So let's call it name. And inside our function, we're gonna use the parameter name that is being passed in. So in here, we're gonna change it to say, hello, name. Let's play and take a look. And give it again 10 seconds, roughly. And there it is, hello, Mary. So Mary is being passed in from the server side and we're just concatenating this name with hello and we got the string hello name, hello Mary. Everyone, that's how you use remote events in Roblox. Specifically in this case, we're firing the remote event from the server side to all clients. Take care everyone and we'll see you in the next tutorial.